I spoke to a guy on Facebook this morning and I told him I believe that there's two sides to liberation. How's it Oaks? Welcome back to another edition of Mashup Vix. I am Jason Bat. Easter weekend has just passed. Um, happy Easter to all those who do believe in Easter. There's a lot of you who don't. You know, if, you, if you ask me, Easter has always been a money-making thing. But anyway, that's just my, the way I see it. Eh? Guys, a quick video that I want to show you. Um, all the events that's happened in this last week. Um, one of them was with uh, Vicky. Uh, what was her surname? Vicky? Okay, I'll, I'll put the name in. She got arrested. Sentenced two years. Okay, that's just one of the, the clips. But there's other clips that I want to show you also of what was circling around on social media, Facebook, Twitter, whatever. Okay, let's let's uh, roll the clip. Right, as you can see in the clips, there was a whole bunch of them. I just want to quickly summarize some of it. Okay, she she got she got punished for the uh, the crime, the punishment that was fit for the crime. Yes, I agree. What she did was wrong. Using the K word forty eight times. Okay, maybe even more. I don't know. Was wrong. But why did she do it? I don't know. Um, I like saying that word, don't I? I know there's some of you that have left nasty comments on my YouTube and previous videos and that. I keep saying I don't know. But yeah, why did she react like that? What was her intentions of, of using the K-word so much? Okay, I know crime is a problem. I've said it before in my previous videos. But you don't have to go on like that and make a complete ass of yourself. Okay? Um, on social media, I've spoken to some people about this and a lot of them reckon it was a stage. It was all an act. <laughs> okay, it's a serious accusation that, I mean, there's one guy, I'm not going to give you his name. Uh, <clears throat> and you can think what you want to think and who he is not it. But he left a comment and he said this whole thing is staged. And just look at her behavior. Look how she was reacting it. Okay, but I tell you one thing that, that that's not going to be good for Mrs. It's going to raise a lot of double standards on this now because people are going to say, and they have actually been said now, but now what about, mm, 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 okay, and why is he not arrested for the hate speech or the, the words that he used? And you know what? It's hard to say why. It's it's political involvement. I, I, I can't tell you exactly why. Why are people not being arrested of uh, POC, people of color? I, I, I can't tell you why, but, but yeah. 
Vicky got the punishment for the crime, and yeah, if if it's a stage, if it's a put on, <laughs> I don't know. It's a serious thing. Eh? Okay, the two ladies fighting. What were they fighting about? I don't, yeah, I don't know. Again, I'm using the word I don't know. I bet you guys are all irritated with me. Why was she fighting? Okay, I, or what I can gather from what I can see, and I think a lot of you will agree with me. The one lady, the white lady, she's obviously an owner or something, or owner of a restaurant, I'm just saying. And the other lady probably works for her. Something was said, words were exchanged, and there was one big fight. What amazes me, what amazes me about this video is when she puts her hands up and she goes, I'm not doing anything, I'm not doing anything, I will not hit her. That is interesting. I mean, I've never seen a video like this before. Normally, when, when people of color fight, they, they fight each other. But then, of course, we know why, and I know why, and here's my assumption that I'm making. She didn't want to hit back because we all know what will happen. It will get media, ding, 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 ding. Media uh, will get a big uh, a fright about this and they say, here we go, guys, here's a scoop. Scoop. Okay? Cool. If you guys are, or if you if disagree with me, leave a comment down below and tell me something. I mean, you have. There's a lot of you haters out there already. I've built an audience already on that. So Then there was a video clip in there of a policeman hitting a drunkard. Okay, this happened here, yeah, somewhere there in the vault. I don't know exactly where. Um, but these little videos, they don't get much attention, okay? People don't really raise much eyebrows on it, okay? And, and that's my question. Again, I want to ask. I've been focusing on that, that specific video that was on Facebook. And again, it got no attention. Absolutely no attention. Yes, a couple of people did say, but it didn't go to over 200, 300 or 400 comments like other comments do. Like, for example, the, the Vicky incident. That incident went mad. It went viral. When, when it came out two years ago and then now that she's got the sentence and everyone is agreeing that it, she should have got the sentence but but the other two even even the, the the footage with the two ladies fighting it did not get attention and the policeman hitting the guy it's wrong it's it's totally wrong guys i mean come on man i know he's drunk in that okay and he's not cooperating there was obviously a fight there because you could see blood if you watch the video fully, uh, fully uh, there was blood on the police officer so there must have been a big fight in that but but do you have to Further go and hit the guy. Come on, that, that, that is not right. And then there was the farmer that, that drove over the 14-year-old boy. I think it was a 14-year-old boy. That too, that footage raises a lot of uh, suspicion. I mean, the farmer in the car was not nervous or anything. He, he seemed more angry than anything. Um, but if that was me, if I had to drive over a 14-year-old boy, I would be bakaki myself. I would be shitting myself and realizing that what I did was was flipping wrong. But now this guy's cool, and the boy that he knocked over is sitting with him in the car, and he's like looking at him like this. And then a man behind the camera is saying, "This is the guy. This is the guy." I, I don't know. Just something tells me that that footage is also staged. Okay, now okay, coming back to the first one. Yeah, I wonder now if a, if the seed has been planted on my head. <laughs> But it, it just doesn't seem right, okay? But we'll keep a trail on it. We'll keep a trail on that footage. See what happens. Let's see if the guy gets arrested. Because uh, it, it, it's wrong. It's wrong. The story The story actually goes... The, uh, the, the young, the 14-year-old boy was stealing some notches. And then the farmer got into his bucket and started chasing this boy. And then drove over him. It's just it's a miracle that he's not dead. But the whole story stinks. It stinks. The whole story, it stinks. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. It doesn't add up. Then the chicken. The chicken that you saw there that was buried by the Nigerian government. Uh, from Chicken that was imported from China. The only reason why I posted that there is because, guys, this is Africa and, and, and we are hungry. People are hungry. And I mean, they will go to great lengths and do stupid things. Even if they know that the chicken will, will kill them. But, you know... I've seen people before, they, they take food, uh, they take rotten meat and they cook it in vinegar. It takes the stink away and they eat it. This is probably what, what, what people are doing. They'll take the chicken and they will boil it first. Boil whatever's out of it. I, I don't know, I'm just saying, this is, this is from hearsay again. I've seen people do it, but I don't know if they still do it. But why bury chicken instead of burn it? Why did you not burn the chicken? Now you bury the chicken and then more people 
are going to lose their lives because the chicken is poisoned. I mean, that, that, that's, that's just wrong. Eh? And then you saw, uh, I put other clips on of other events that happened in South Africa. I don't know where exactly. I just saw a spa truck there and a, it looked like a, a brewery truck where they were taking beer off. And this all happened over Easter weekend. People, people are hungry. I've, I've said this before. People are hungry. They, they, the jobs in this country is getting less and less. And, and I, I, don't, I don't see it as looting. I don't, I don't see it as stealing. To me, I'm starting to see things different in, in a different light here. These people are hungry, my, my people. They, they, they are hungry. They need that food. But yet, a lot of us, a lot of the haters out there will go and say, yeah, oh, they're looting and they're stealing that. Guys, just search deeper down into your soul and realize what a privilege some of us have. We are privileged. We've got houses. We've got cars. Those people that you see there, uh, can you imagine in the beginning what it was like? Okay. Yes, I know a lot of you are going to probably give me more hate speech and tell me, I don't know what I'm talking about, but I am. I am actually. I'm beginning to realize what's going on here. And a lot of you people still don't deceive that way because your ignorance is what sets you and other people apart. Start breaking down those barriers. Start breaking the walls and see past the ignorance and see. There was a video clip of Bob Marley that was on the internet this morning. And the video, I've asked now that the, the owner of the video, if I can add it on, and he was, obviously he hasn't responded, so now I'm just going to go ahead and tell you the story. It's a story about Bob Marley when he grew up as a teenager in Jamaica, when they were, when they were going through the period of their independence in Jamaica. And he grew up as a teenager where he realized that music would be a tool that would fix things. And, and in, a, in, a, in a essence, it did. Because he became popular, became famous. And when he started his band, The Wailers, in the 70s, he was stopped. He was this band because uh, the press said, how can Bob Marley and The Wailers be more higher than the, what can I say, more, more important? Making bigger headlines uh, as such. So that stopped. Then a few years later, he kept on, he still kept on singing. It didn't stop him. Somebody broke into his house and shot him two days before his concert. But that didn't stop him because two days later, he went to his concert and people asked him, but you injured, you got shot in it. And his words was, uh, I don't know, okay, I'm going to put a picture of exactly what his words were. His words were, how can, how can I take rest? When there's people out there doing worse things to the world, it's something in that sense. I'll, okay, I'll put I'll put the picture. Okay, there's the picture. And his life went on, and he got cancer under his toe, and he passed away. So he passed away natural. Okay, but now we all know there's been lots of conspiracy theories, and people say this and that. You, you know how it goes. I mean, okay. But what was interesting about the video? What was interesting about the, the parts where we got shot and where he was this band where him and the whalers were not allowed to perform in the concert why why, why were they stopped and I, and I know a lot of you a lot of the liberal thinkers out there will will say yeah there is reasons why because there's people out there that were jealous and i'm beginning to think that too because let's be honest here this has got nothing to do with with dacha now okay i know bob molly smoked dacha now but now let's go a little bit step further and i know this is a deep conspiracy but for the last few years now, Dacha, marijuana, has become a legal substance. And in, in, in a way, it's becoming a medical treatment for certain people. And it's treating people with cancer. They've even, they've even gone, f uh, doctors have made now marijuana stickers now. Stickers that you can put on your, your body and, that, and it, it cures you, it cures some diseases. And that. But years ago, Dacha was not legal. And you got to ask yourself this question, why was it not legal? Why was marijuana not legal? What were people afraid of? When alcohol did more damage than what smoking a joint did. Yeah, okay. But now I'm going too far now, okay. If some people are going to watch this, they're going to say this and that and that. And yeah, okay, they're going to trample my toes. So let me just leave that seed in your head a bit and then you... You can manifest your own thoughts on why Bob Marley was stopped at a concert. Jealousy. Jealousy and greed. It, it, it is a funny, funny thing. 
Okay, and that is uh, the, the end of my video. The next video that I want to make is about liberation as such. Um, I spoke to a guy on Facebook this morning and I told him, I believe that there's two sides to liberation. You get two different sides, two different kinds of people of liberal thinkers. The one side to me is uh, the liberal thinker who, who hates, who cannot forgive people, who's always throwing out assumptions and making people look bad and making people of color bad as such. And then you get the other liberator thinker that, that, that will say, he wants people to be aware. He wants people to realize and confess to their sins of what happened back in the past. And it's about privilege. You know, making people confess and ask for forgiveness in it and bring out that guilt. Okay, but that, I'm going too far now. I, I want to say that now for my next video. My next video should be about but that. I think, I think people, I think a lot of you people out there don't understand what liberation actually means. You just see the one narrative of it and you're not actually seeing the other side the other narrative of, of, of liberation what it actually stands for in that and i'm going to go through that and i'm going to i'm going to speak about both sides because these last few weeks i have seen a lot of hate speech and i think for a long time we have seen a, a lot of hate speech but now i'm starting to realize and i've said this before i'm realizing that there's there's other liberators out there that we are not paying attention to and once you start listening to their stories and, 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 and try to understand and realize their mindset, all of a sudden, a whole new world opens. Anyway, thank you guys. Thanks for watching my video. And remember to keep it real.